Psalm 39. Now, when we read these psalms, we want to make them personal because the psalmist had a way of crying out and talking to God and telling God as it is. And the title says, Insignificance of Human Beings Before God. Who are we before God? Remember, you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. That's our position before God. We are dust. We are a puff of air that, a, that is blown from one place to another. We are nothing. And paradoxically, we are something. We are worth more than the birds of the air. Psalm 39. I said, I will watch how I behave so that I do not sin by my tongue. I will keep a muzzle on my mouth as long as I live. My heart has been smoldering within me. And he continues, verse 7, So now, Lord, what am I to hope for? My hope is in you. Save me from all my sins. My sins are numerous, but I come to you and ask you, save me from all my sins. Do not make me, do not make the buff of fools. I keep silence. I speak no more since you yourself have been at work. Verse 12. Yahweh, hear my prayer. And we can go to the Lord like that. La Yahweh, Almighty God, listen to my prayer. Listen to my cry for help. Do not remain deaf to my weeping. Listen. Because God is our friend. He can cry out, Abba, Father. Jesus is our brother. Jesus is the mediator. Let us be unafraid of going to God and telling him as it is. For I am a stranger in your house. Turn your gaze upon me before I depart and I am no more. Let us go to the Lord and cry out to him because Jesus himself encourages us to do that. Happy are those who mourn, they shall be comforted. And again in Matthew's Gospel, he says, Come to me all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me. I am gentle and humble of heart. So if Jesus tells us it is good, it is normal to weep, let us go to the Lord and say, Master, my heart is sobbing. My heart is not good. I am my life. I, I don't know what's going on. Tell the Lord as it is with that confident and firm hope that he will render assistance. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen.